Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to reverse engineer the spur gear. First, I am going to measure the dimensions of the given spur gear using vernier caliper. First, I have measured the outer diameter. The outer diameter of the gear is 98 mm. So, I have marked the dimension in a rough drawing. Then, I have measured the root diameter and the root diameter is 88 mm and I have marked in the rough drawing. Then the diameter of this section is 40 mm. So I have marked it. Next I have measured the inner diameter of the gear. So the inner diameter is 25.5 mm. So the radius is 12.75 mm and I have marked it in the rough drawing. Next is keyway width. The keyway width is 6.8 mm. So this is how we have to measure the keyway width. Next, the keyway thickness. So I have measured the top dimension and from the diameter, I have subtracted it. So the overall diameter is 40 mm. So the radius will be 20 mm. So here the measurement is 3 mm. So it is 20 minus 3 that is equal to 17 mm that is the dimension from the center of the gear to the top face of the key slot. The width of the gear is measured as 19.5 mm. Then this cut section has a thickness of 5 mm. Next the gap between the root diameter and the inner groove is measured as 2 mm. So here this is my dimensions. So first create a rough diagram and mark all the dimensions in that. Further I am going to calculate some additional dimensions. The number of teeth is measured as 44 and the pressure angle is 14.5. So we have two possible pressure angles. One is 20 degree and the another one is 14.5. So here I have considered 14.5 degree. Next, I want pitch diameter. So the equation for calculating the pitch diameter is number of teeth divided by diametral pitch. So I have the value for number of teeth but I don't know the diametral pitch. So first I am going to calculate the diametral pitch. The equation for diametral pitch is number of teeth plus 2 divided by outer diameter. So the number of teeth is 44 plus 2 and the outer diameter is measured as 98 mm. So I will get the diameter pitch. Once after calculating the diameter pitch, now I can substitute in the pitch diameter equation and I can calculate the pitch diameter. So the pitch diameter is calculated as 93.82 mm. Now we can draw the spur gear using SOLIDWORKS. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. Select the front plane and draw a circle of diameter 88 mm. So I am going to start with the root diameter. And the shaft diameter that is the inner hole diameter 12.75 into 2 that is 25.5 mm. Go to features, click extrude boss and extrude this to 19.5 mm that is the width of the gear. Now click this section, click sketch. Now I am going to cut the key slot. Select center rectangle and draw a rectangle here. The width of the rectangle is 6.8 mm and the height from the center is 17 mm. Click the center of the rectangle and the origin and make it as vertical. Now go to features, click extrude cut and cut this up to the surface. Now I have created the key slot. Next I am going to create the profile here. So click sketch and draw 
a circle of diameter 40 mm and draw another circle the dimensions between the root circle and this circle is 2 mm now go to features click extrude cut and extrude this to a thickness of 5 mm as mentioned in the drawing now I am going to mirror this for that I am going to create a plane so go to reference plane and click plane so select this surface as the first reference and the opposite surface as the second reference click OK now go to mirror and the plane is already selected as plane 1 and the features select the last extrude cut click OK now I have created it so you can click the plane and you can hide that now I am going to create the gear tooth profile so select front plane click sketch draw a circle as root diameter so click the circle and click the root diameter and make it as core radial and concentric then draw another circle as outer circle and the outer diameter is 98 mm then draw one more circle that is your pitch circle so the pitch circle diameter we have calculated it is 93.82 mm ok so click the pitch circle and this is only for construction now draw a center line from the center to the vertical point now draw another center line from the center with some inclination so select smart dimension and this inclination is 360 divided by number of teeth into 2 that is 44 into 2 so that is 4.09 okay. so this is the angle for a single tooth select center line draw a center line from this connecting point and the angle between these two lines is actually the pressure angle so here I have considered 14.5 degree as the pressure angle okay. now go to 3 point arc select this point and the next point and it should pass through this center so click here then click the curve click control and select this point and make it as coincident okay. then draw another center line from the center to the starting point of the curve and make this as tangent then select the curve and select the line and make this as tangent now the curve is fully defined so to mirror this section I am going to create another center line so from the center to this point and the angle so the overall angle is 4.09 so here it is 4.09 divided by 2 so that it will be at the center now go to mirror entities so the entities to mirror is the curve and mirror about the center line then click OK now trim the unwanted sections so trim this line so trim all the unwanted lines except the gear tooth profile click OK now go to features click extrude bars 
and extrude this up to this surface then click ok now I have created a single tooth now I am going to pattern this so go to circular pattern so the direction is select the cylindrical surface and the future is the last boss extrude and the number of entities is 44 that is the number of teeth click ok now I have created the gear tooth profile that's all thank you